G'day Lawnies, I'm going to be talking about planning for your irrigation. Let's fix this terrible lawn. Get your lawn on. Okay, so you need to measure up your area and you also need to know where your water source is and you need to know the flow pressure of your water source. All you need for this job is some measuring stuff, a pen and paper to make a mud map, a bucket for a flow test. I'm not gonna make this video a suck eggs video about how to measure up an area. You know how to do that. Just make sure that you're very methodical about what you're doing. Take your time, re-measure things if you have to, and also take into account things like slopes in your area and any sort of irregularities in your area that might be issue. I've got myself a little drone. What I'm gonna do is after I've done my measurements, I'm gonna get my drone up into the sky and take a sky shot of the area and then superimpose my measurements on that uh, photo. That's getting a little bit fancy. But as long as you give your irrigation shop or whoever you're going through a mud map of your area with the measurements down, you should be able to get by. I have thought a lot about this garden bed area and I've decided not to keep it. It does contain a water source and it'd be quite easy to hide that water source with some shrubs or some hedges. However, I think the area really crashes into the real estate of the lawn area and although it's hard to see from these camera angles, when you're walking on the street, all you really see is that garden bed. You really don't see the lawn and I really just want to make the lawn the focal point of this front yard. Down the end here, and you can see I've used one of the old beams here that was diagonally here. There's a border here that's been totally overgrown over time. Um, it was in before this tree was in, and has uh, moved moved this out the way over time as well. So what I'm going to do is I haven't got permission to remove the tree. I haven't asked. I gotta say, so it's not like I've been asked and told no. But considering this area here is just probably where it's gonna get the least sun, and you know, if I do get permission to take that tree down or not, um, it's still pretty much gonna be an area right around here, which is not really gonna see sun. It's gonna be difficult to grow grass there. It's also gonna be difficult, especially over winter, there's, there's no sun in this bit. Um, but you know, I'm going to have lawn there, but uh, that uh, might be a challenging area in the future. And I've marked it out here with the beam that I just took from over there. Is that I'm going to have a straight line going here. I'm using this post and this little area here to be my straight line, and that's where I'm going to have my lawn line. And I'm going to fill in this area. Uh, with some garden stuff. Um, might even do a hedge. I think that would look pretty neat. I just prefer to have a straight line to mow an edge rather than jagged bits everywhere. So this is my water source, which I'll have to do a uh, water flow test on. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a water flow test. Now a good way is just to tell an irrigation place how long it takes to fill a, a nine or 10 litre bucket. I've got a bucket here, which has got some increments and it's 13, I think it's got 13, up to 13 litres. I'm gonna run the water for a minute. Now the water pressure here is incredibly low. It's really terrible. Um, it's not great. So the irrigation uh, 
design it will tell me if it's enough pressure for what I need or if I need to get pressure uh, pressure valves or anything like that but this let's go ahead and do the test you ready baby yep get it going really really slow 10 seconds it's at five liters 15 seconds, it's at 8 litres. 20 seconds, it's at 10 litres. 25. 30 seconds. So I think we can safely say 30 seconds is 14 litres. So it's 28 litres a minute. In our measurements and my design, I'm going to have to indicate where the water source point is and this is the water source point that I'm going to use and the plan and the idea is, is that I'll have my valve box right next to it so it's all nice and easy in one place to manage. So like I told you earlier in the video, I'm not going to show you how to measure up exactly. You should be able to do that. Just be methodical and then put it down on your mud map. It doesn't have to be to scale. So yeah, probably the worst little design going. The wind is not... Come on, stop playing with me. It's my little, little design, which I'll uh, do up a bit better. And of course I'll do that with uh, my drone shot. So I took some video shots with my drone and I just stopped it and did a screenshot and then put some uh, measurements over the top of it. So I did a couple of angles so I could just show the other bits and yeah, basically just drew over the top of it in some white texture, marking my water source of course, and submitted that to Reese Irrigation who are going to be doing my design. If you can't take some aerial photography, don't panic. Just measure it up with some basic tools, get it on a mud map, it doesn't have to be to scale, and do a flow test. And this is all you have to give your irrigation mob that you're going to go with. And they'll probably have some other questions for you, and that's why I recommend you go with an irrigation mob or company or person that you trust, that you can work together with to get the best solution. Look, winter isn't a great time for warm season lawns and I'll be really glad to get rid of this irrigation. But the downtime will give me some time to plan and get right stuck into this job and get it really happening and I can't wait. Obviously I'll be sharing how I go in future videos, so look out for that one. And if you're getting some value from this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel and keep up with the latest. Check out the Fix the Terrible Lawn series by clicking on the square. Get your lawn on.